Hi, I'm Phil from Turbine Products, and today I'll be demonstrating basic setup, operation, and adjustment of our Sprayfine A301 three-stage turbine spray system. Your system will consist of essentially three components. The box, which is the turbine sprayer, the air hose, and the spray gun with uh, a paint cup. You can also spray latex paint with the spray fine sprayer system. Um, normally, latex is meant to be sprayed with a very high pressure system such as an airless sprayer, but with the proper um, conditioning of the latex paint, you can spray it with the uh, low pressure system. And the first additive that we need to add is, is a latex paint additive um, such as Floetrol. Uh, it's a tension modifier and it'll reduce the surface tension of the latex and it'll make it flow out and give you a smooth finish. There are other additives as well. Um, you'll add 25 percent of this to your mix. So in this case we have four ounces of latex already in the cup and we'll add an ounce of the uh, Floetrol. We'll shake it well and we'll pour it into the cup. The next additive is a waterborne polyurethane, and these you could pick up at your local um, hardware or home center. Uh, this one that I'm using is um, Pro Finisher water based polyurethane. I got it at Home Depot. You shake this up well and add 50% of this water based polyurethane to your paint. So I'm adding two ounces of this to my four ounces of latex. Another similar product um, is polyacrylic by Minwax. You can also get that at any Home Depot or, hard, or Home Center. And then we stir the paint well. And we'll pour it in the paint cup. Attach the cup lid, attach the air hose to the gun, turn on the sprayer, and we're ready to spray. Your maximum fan pattern is going to be with the center hole of the air cap flush with the tip of the nozzle. And as you turn the retaining ring counterclockwise and move the air cap away from the nozzle, the fan pattern will get smaller. So you pick the size that you're comfortable with and spray it with that, uh, with that setting. Be sure to thoroughly clean your gun after using. If you're using a water-based paint, clean out the cup, pour in about an inch of water and spray it through the gun, and then repeat until it comes out clear. Uh, then remove the air cap retaining ring and the air cap, clean those off, uh, reassemble them, and uh, you're done.